Capgemini, one of the top IT services vendors in Europe and the world's foremost provider of consulting, technology and outsourcing services, today announces full year results for the year 2017. Paul Elmanar, hello. Hello. You are the chairman and CEO of Capgemini. What are the highlights of these full year results? We delivered a truly excellent performance this year because we combine growth, margin improvement. In top line, an acceleration throughout the year and we completed the year with a 4% constant currency growth, which is more than our guidance, and we ended the year with the fourth quarter above 6%, so good acceleration. Margin progression, as expected, we met the guidance, a new progression of the margin to reach 11.7. Excellent cash collection, so we completed a good free cash flow operational from operation this year at a uh, billion and 80 million, which is above our guidance, and overall a very solid year. You're certainly operating in a healthy demand environment these days, with strong growth predicted for both North America and continental Europe. What's driving this? The market is very active because a lot of new clients are buying technology, notably the business, not only the IT department. That's what we call the digital evolution of the market. And by year end, the digital and cloud will represent 40% of our group revenue, which is a sizable part. We are close to 5 billion euros of digital work and it's growing by 24%. Second point in the US, you might remember that we ended on a low base at the end of 16. We recorded a good growth throughout the year, 5% growth in the US and we ended the year at plus 12. All countries in continental Europe are growing and uh, one limit is in the UK, where we completed successfully the re-insourcing of our contract with the revenue and customs. But I would just say, uh, we have kept and we have developed the best operational relationship, so it remains and will remain for a long time our best client. And how is the growth outlook for Capgemini and the rest of the world, particularly in emerging markets? On the combined Asia-Pacific and Latin America, we grow by 7.9, so nearly 8%, which is quite solid. Good growth in Asia-Pacific, stellar growth in Mexico, and Brazil, for the first time, show signs of stabilization at the end of 17. And you've made a few strategic acquisitions in the past year. What else is on the horizon? So the first point is, uh, on that digital journey, we buy assets that are important for the customer experience. So for the first time, we onboard new kind of talents, creative people, designers, all skills that are important for what we call the customer journey. So we bought Farnight 212 last year, which is about uh, innovation, consulting in innovation. We bought uh, a big studio specialized in design, IDN, and uh, we started the negotiation, obviously, uh, in 2017, and we could sign 10 days ago a big acquisition in digital with Liquid Hub, which is a, a key a company with big clients in capital market, in healthcare, in health payers. So a, a big step for us to grow in the US in digital. Your press release shows a strong angle towards CSR. Can you comment on this? Yeah, we, we made a, an effort to redesign our CSR objective. We completely reorganize our objectives. And uh, I presented them with a CSR executive to the board that endorsed our proposal. So, there are two chapters that are quite traditional and normal. One would be about gender diversity and the promotion and the growing importance of ladies in the group management and organization. The second one is about environmental sustainability, so or carbon footprint and energy consumption. But uh, we have pushed for something on top, which I think is radically new, which is to progressively focus all our effort towards digital inclusion. The digital divide is a big break in the society. There are people that are part of the digital world and people that are not. And we, as a promoter of that digital age, we will do whatever we can to encourage people to have access to that digital age by working on digital inclusion. You've issued some pretty ambitious growth and margin targets through 2020. What is your guidance for the coming year? So 
on our road to our strategic objective. Our strategic ambition is to grow organically by 5 to 7 percent and to push our margin to the range 12.5-13. 2018 will see a new progression. So we guided, we will guide uh, on a 6 to 7 percent constant currency growth, a new progression of the margin to a range 12 percent to 12.2 and a new good free cash flow collection since we want to be above 1 billion euro. Paul Hermelin, Chairman and CEO of Capgemini, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.